You hold tight, buddy. My girls is on the way. I think I speak for all. If you've ever had your car booted, it's infuriating. And now, two best friends are turning that annoyance into a side hustle and challenging Atlanta's parking enforcement industry. They call themselves the Boot Girls and Buckhead, removing the boot with a magic key. And they're going viral on TikTok doing it, sporting pink and black with dazzled masks to hide their identities. The ladies arrive and remove the boot in just moments, charging $50 versus a discount to the city's price of $75. So joining me now to discuss this business are the Boot Girls in Buckhead and their manager, Christian Barrett. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for having us. Hello. So first of all, why did you start this? What inspired you to start removing car boots in the Atlanta area? Um, so we just happened to get a boot at um, my old complex, Boot Shiesty got a boot, and we just called a dude to take it off. Okay, so you are boot baby, and I do know yes. that your other girlfriend that you do this with, she couldn't be here at this time. Um, I gotta ask you this, guys, is this even legal? Yes. Yeah. yeah, they try to act like it's not, but I mean, we're not hiding. We've done it in front of law enforcement. I mean, our, our lawyers have assured us everything we're doing is 100% on board. As long as you don't damage the boot or take the boot, there's really nothing they can charge you with. It's a civil issue at best because it's between a private company and private citizens. So I also, you, I see you there disguising your face um, and your identity. Do you fear for your safety? Um, do you consider yourself vigilantes? Um, no. I, they don't, I mean, I'm not, we don't fear for our safety though. Like, um, it's been times where we've had like bad times with like the workers, but other than that, on a regular day, everybody loves us. And I mean, not like vigilantes. I mean, the city has really coined them kind of heroes. They didn't really like dub themselves that. So they, they were just out taking boots off, you know, trying to make a living. It's hard times. And, you know, people just caught attention and started praising them for it. So why do you think these boots are predatory? Yeah, uh, man, there's a thousand reasons the boots are predatory. I mean, when you just look at it for what it is, it, it just comes across as extortion. Like, how can somebody hold you hostage, hold your personal property? Something as important as your car, you know? So I just how, you, to... how are you going to get home oh, so I... after you? No, please go. Yeah, well, just holding like, like your vehicle hostage in exchange for a fee and you, there's no, I mean, there's no appeal process. There's no due process whatsoever. They're not the government, you know, it's private companies. So they don't give you any type of appeal. It's painting or you're stuck. You're, you're stuck. <laughs> and that's, that's all you could call the police and they'll tell you it's a civil issue. And I mean, it just doesn't seem just, it doesn't seem fair. They don't know if you're down to your last $20 and they don't care. You know, I'm really dying to know, I mean, how many cars are you doing this to, taking these boots off day after day? Roughly, what does a date look like? Um, roughly, we'll do about like 30 boots a day. 30 boots? I think yeah. I've seen one boot in my life. So there must be a lot of booting that's happening in Atlanta. Yeah, I thought it wasn't a lot, but ever since this has happened, there's a lot. Like, there's like over a thousand boots. Yeah. A single company, a single company, and granted, there's multiple companies yeah, there's in Atlanta. Multiple companies. A single company can do 100,000 boots in a year I'm in saying, the metro Atlanta area. We probably see about 200 each each company, 200 boots yeah. per company a day. Yeah, we can't get to them all. We barely get to a fraction of them. My goodness gracious, that is just crazy. I'm doing the math. 30 boots times 50, what is that, $1,500 a day? That's not too bad. Yeah, that's great. Pay the bills. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, guys. Not all heroes wear capes. The Buckhead Boots. They and Christian, thank mask. you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.